Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that I am going to try to start posting regularly on Twitter, so if you haven't already, go check it out, and that probably applies to pretty much all of you watching, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, what up? What? Hey guys, what's up? I think it is about time we uh, paint the body for the uh, B6.1. As you can see, it is just fully clear. So I'm going to paint it today. I got some colors that I think will look pretty cool. Silver, black, and red. So we'll see what I can do with this. If you're looking for a tutorial, this is not the video for you. Um, if, you want, if you want a tutorial, go look somewhere else. I'm just doing this because it's an interesting video and I haven't uploaded much lately. Okay, so I cleaned out the inside of this with uh, just regular dish soap, and I have this all taped up on the inside, and I'm going to be painting this inner part here red. This paint is on the outside of here. It's not in the middle. So I'm using this red RC car paint by uh, Duratrax. Uh, the Tamaya paint is uh, generally, people like that a little better, but this was uh, the quickest stuff for me to get, and I didn't want to have to wait, and it'll still work great, so... Uh, let's get started on the painting, I guess. So the first thing I noticed here while editing is that the camera lens looks very kind of fogged up. And then I remembered that that day was actually very humid. And that humidity is basically creating like a fog on the lens, so sorry about that, but there's nothing I can really do. Okay, so we're outside and we're ready to paint, so I'm going to shake this up for a little while. So... It says to just do thin streams back and forth from about 10 inches away, so I guess we'll start off with that. Um, make sure this is all covered up nicely on the outside. We don't want any of this getting the outside of the body. There we go. Time to get this way. There we go. And that's it for our first coat. There's a bunch of clouds and everything. I just moved the camera, so hopefully the lighting is okay. I can't really tell on the screen too well, but I think it's good. So, it's been about five or six minutes, so let's uh, do our next coat. Okay, that's it. I would be painting out in the grass, but uh, it's raining pretty bad. Okay, it's been another five or so minutes, and we're ready for coat three. Let's see how this looks on this side. Ooh, that looks really good. It's perfect. Okay. So once this dries, we'll back it with uh, silver to give it a nice bright, uh, nice bright effect. Because otherwise, it'll be uh, backed by black, and uh, that'll give it kind of a darker shade. And I don't want that. It's starting to rain pretty hard here. So sorry if you can't hear me. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the uh, silver. Actually, you know what? There's some spots where the red isn't isn't too thick, so let's try a little more red. Mainly, mainly along the edges. Okay, we'll let that dry and then do the silver. Okay, so that final coat dried. But uh, the problem is it's extremely humid outside right now, so there's like a really bad uh, layer of moisture that uh, forms in here. So what I'm going to do is every time I do a coat, I'm going to bring it inside to dry. And uh, maybe I'll like open a window or something down, down in the basement here. Okay, silver. Okay. 
So what I did instead of bringing it inside and letting it dry is I uh, just took a hair dryer and I just kind of uh, blew warm air on it on a low speed for like a minute, minute and a half, and it's that like almost completely dried it. It was just a tiny bit of silver coming out of my finger there, although that's from spraying it. Yeah, look. That was literally after like a minute and a half of drying. There's literally no silver coming off, so let's try this again. Next coat of silver. Okay, so I think it's been about a solid hour. Um, the silver is pretty dry and I have it taped up so we can do the next coat. Uh, I decided I'm gonna do silver here instead of black. So then uh, we can do black for everything else, the rest of it, and I think it'll look a lot better with the transition from red to silver instead of red to black with a random silver on the bottom. And I think the stickers will look better with the black background instead of silver. Make sure all these little things on the windows are pushed down well. Okay, there's the first coat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do our next coat. Number two. Crap. I didn't put any tape up there. Same with over here. I guess the black will have kind of a sparkly look to it. Um, I'm gonna go tape that up. Okay, so this is dried enough. Uh, silver here. I uh, went back and used some nail polish remover and I got rid of that overspray, peeled off the paint after doing, or before doing one more final little silver coat here. And I did leave it slightly opaque, the silver, because um, I think putting the black behind it will give it kind of a cool, like darker silver look. If that's a thing, I don't know, we'll find out. Either way, let's start painting. So this black, I'm just going to cover the whole inside with it because then. Um, it'll just be one solid, even color inside, um, and I already have all the coats here good, so I don't need to worry about anything. So, let's paint now. You know what? I'm going to go in and put some masking tape around these stickers and everything, because I feel like that's going to get up onto those edges, and that's going to ruin it, so I'll be back in a second here. Okay, I got all the masking tape on here, so let's go ahead and paint. is very pressurized. Okay, uh, that's the first coat. Be back with the second coat. Okay, we're losing daylight. I'm gonna put on the next coat. I think we'll have one or two more after this and we should be done. Uh, I think we'll just do one more. It's looking pretty good so far. Although the edges here, it's not, uh, can't really tell on camera. There's quite a bit of blue shining through that. So we'll see where we get from here. Okay, going on to our, what is this, third coat? I think I'm gonna have to do four coats on this.
Okay, yep, that's done. And we'll get ready for the fourth coat, I guess, later. I don't know. Last coat, I think. We'll find out. I still see some blue bleeding through, but we haven't painted the next coat yet. This is coat four. I think this might actually do it. I don't really care how great it looks on the inside. Because it should look pretty good on the outside no matter how reckless it is on the inside. I'm doing two fingers here to get more accuracy. Okay. Looks pretty good here. Nope. Still gotta do a little more. Okay, my, my uh, camera battery's about to die here, so let's get this all peeled off. It looks pretty good from what I can see so far around here. So like there's some silver right there, somehow. I don't think that's coming through the black. I think that's an external thing, I hope. Definitely still silver peeking through from the, the problem earlier, but I mean, it doesn't look great on this part, but it doesn't look horrible. So I'll just continue to peel this off. I'm mad at myself for not putting that tape on there properly, but nonetheless, it looks pretty good. That came out how I, uh, how I expected it, how I was hoping it would. I like it. Uh, we just need to put some Velcro back on it. My other strip of Velcro magically disappeared. So I need to find that and then pop it back on because the adhesive is still very sticky. So it'll work fine. Okay, so we got the buggy all mounted up, the body all mounted up on the buggy. It looks pretty good. You can still see some of the silver bleeding through. Again, I hope that's on the outside, but I imagine it is on the inside. It'll be okay for now. I think I can get a new body and paint it better. But they're expensive, so that won't be happening anytime soon. Ah, I was afraid that would happen. There's not enough adhe adhesive on this Velcro. I ripped it off the body previous to painting it, and I was worried that the adhesive would wear off after doing that, and it did. But I have other Velcro I can put on, so it'll be okay. But we do need to uh, remove these little things for the windows here, so let's go do that quick. So we'll start off with the windshield, I guess. See, the paint is still peeling right off. Oh, crap. That's... Oh, no, that's, that's okay. Just gotta be very careful. Because the paint around it is all still pretty wet. Okay, there's that. Doesn't look too bad. There we go. And I got this little itty bitty one here. If I had my other thumbnail available, that'd be nice. But I cut myself. It's pretty good there. Go do this one over here. The last one. That looks pretty good. I like it. Turned out great. Except for uh, the bit of silver right there. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Well, guys, I hope you. I feel like this is really zoomed in compared to normal. I don't know. Uh, focus. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, body painting video. Uh, I might have another one coming at some point. Not anytime soon. But at some point, maybe. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bad lighting. Okay. Mm.